Hello everybody, Azumi here, and today let's do some Sinmara EX, and yeah, it's gotta be manual, this is a tough one, so, first up is gonna be Rat God, yay that I just got her, um, Isith, who, let me tell you, don't estimate her, underestimate her, because she hits a lot, and the pa and this passive is pretty good for this. Um, Star Saint Noah, which is basically just set up tanky because she will die really quickly. But Blessing is what you really need here. Boon kind of helps too. And let's go with Ipsum next. Who's just an all around great character. You know, two times for. You know, 180 a piece and some pretty decent passives. This this is really going to help here. Um, Therian won't help at all. And Marmalade. And Awoken Marmalade is basically again there for. Um, this doesn't stack, but uh, this is where you get that from, and definitely need um, this in this one. So. All right, here we go. All right, so first is going to be um, Sinmara, who is in the melee row, is grounded, and is Yotan. All right, her action skill hits the front enemy row with fire attack damage and does, also does fire wound for three turns, and that affects humans, Therians, and Yotan. Alright, so the auto skill is going to hit all player parties, and that does fire attack damage, as well as flame bound and flame chain for three turns. And that's going to affect Aesir, Therian, and Beast. So keep that in mind when using the Rat God, you're going to get CC'd sometimes with that. And if it comes right in the middle of using your skill, it's going to cancel it. So, And then a fire element damage 30% up for three turns. So yeah, that could be pretty pretty deadly right there and then the abyss boost so abyss boost is every time you hit her with a damage that's not of water element or neutral element it's going to raise the gauge and every time the little thing up at the top of the screen that says level two right now gets higher up to level five then it's just going to make her stronger so keep that in mind don't want to use anything but water and neutral damage so don't bring your sort to this, it's just going to power her up. <laughs> but I'm sure some people's made it work. And next we're going to go for the flame armor, which does on the first HP bar, he hits the front ally, with, which is going to be um, Sinmara, with attack damage 20% up for 3 turns, as well as berserk for 3 turns. Alright, and then on the second and third bar, she also gets the Berserk and the 20% up for three turns, as well as Fire Ring for three turns. So that can make her pretty deadly. And also the armor is melee, grounded, and Yotun, so definitely exploit that to do as much damage as possible, and don't use anything but water. All right, and next we're going to talk about the Hawk. So the Hawk is in the range row is Airborne, and that one is Beast. So that's why you need quite a little bit of mixture of the Beast damage up and the Yotun damage up, because you want to get rid of the armor and the Hawk pretty quick. So the Hawk's armor, I mean, auto skill is going to be all enemies get hit with Fire Wound for three turns. And then also the two enemies with the lowest HP get hit with Fire Attack damage, and they get debuffed defense and magic defense down 20% for three turns. Again, water damage, don't use anything else if you can really help it. And try to get rid of the armor and the hawk as quick as possible. Alright, so some other characters you can use are going to be um, Starblade, Senna, you know, the EX one. Um, Summer DL, if you have her. Um, the actual lucky for this is Axe Maiden Alicia. So, 
as you can see you don't need her but I, it would be a ton easier and then you know I have a, probably wouldn't have my star hell dying on the last one every time every time but it's all right um, definitely vindicator gradius I'm gonna say that um, Nagisa is not bad neither is spirit priestess Celicia there's too many Sia's Licia's in this game now so I have to say the whole thing um, if you really have to, you can use Ulan as a tank. The new Apocalypse Ray is probably really good. Um, just keep in mind if you use Aesir's, they're going to get CC'd. And sometimes my Rat God will get CC'd enough to where I can't clear because I'm not getting a steady, steady enough supply of Water Ring to be able to do enough damage. So that's pretty much that. Um, we're about done here couple more hits uh, I think my rat guy got a little CC there so didn't get as much water ring and slowed it down some but there we go let's check and see who did the most damage usually it's Ipsum and yep sure is so thank you for watching